Hi, in today's demo we're going to talk about the new multi-language support in Auto, where you can send your recipients of your email the same email but in the language preference that suits them best without having to create several separate emails. First step, under general, in your setup, you need to go down to languages and specify which languages you are going to support for your users. You specify both a default language, which is the one which will be used for any one of your contacts who either has not provided their language preference yet or has provided a language preference that you are not supporting yet. So for me, English US is the default and I'm going to select French as the translation that I will support. So any one of my customers that specify French as their preferred language, I'm going to support that in my emails. Let's come across to campaigns now and see what that looks like as I build my campaign. So I'm going to create a just welcome letter and I'm going to choose to translate this email to support both English and French. You can choose that on an email by email level. So for English, I'm just going to say hello, first name. And for French, I will say bonjour, first name. Pretty straightforward. So my English recipients will get hello, my French recipients will get bonjour. Let's skip ahead to the design step now. And here, as I create my email content, I need to provide both the text for my English audience and the text for my French audience. And then I'll be using liquid syntax to specify which version is shown to the English recipients and which version is shown to the French recipients. So let me paste in some code that I've already prepared here. Make that a bit bigger as well. Okay, so here I'm using the liquid syntax to specify that if people.language, so if the person receiving this email, their language field is English-US, so the US variant of English, as specified against that person, they'll receive the text, or they'll see the text hello. Else, if you've got someone with a language preference of French, uh, including any of the variants of French, so just the, the base language here, they're going to see bonjour. And then I close it off with and if. Now I can test what that looks like by coming over to preview. And we've got a toggle option to see what the email looks like for someone with the English language preference and the French language preference. Both working well. The other thing you'll note is the footer links down here have also been automatically translated for you based on the languages you've selected for the campaign. And as you go and look at those different links, as a recipient, you'll also see a translated version of the relevant pages you end up on. Back to our email page, I'll show you one other key way you might like to translate your campaign. So you can use the text approach here directly, or you might say, I actually want to choose a whole row to be translated. So if I do as an example, this text block is going to show my French content, and I'm going to select that whole row come over to the site under the display condition and I'm going to add a condition to say this is French content and I need to use the same tags that I did in the text above to display this. So just as a shortcut I'll copy what I had before. So if language is French, so I just need the start bit. If people at language is French, show this block and then insert my end if block at the end. And I would do the same for a English block and any other languages I needed to support. And whatever is in that row, text, images, buttons, etc., it is only going to appear to people that have the French language preference. 
accordingly. So English does not have it, French does. So that option is a bit more flexible, um, but both available. Both are available. Once you've sent your email in the activities for people sending and receiving the email, you can see which actual version of the email they have received as the subject uh, will, that they will see in their activity will either be the English or the French version of the subject if you need to check which one people got. There are, now thinking about the people and how to set their languages, there are a few ways that can happen. If someone submits a capture widget or goes to their email preferences link in their footer of an email, then we will automatically detect and save their language preference based on the language of their browser that they're using. Uh, you can also specify directly for users via the CDP page or using a, an import CSV, for example, uh, as a way to set the preference for individuals. Um, and to remind, if once you've got the preferences of languages, um, anyone that has provided a language that you do not support will get your default language. In our case, it's English US. Thanks for watching. Please see our help docs for more information or to see more details about the syntax for the liquid conditions.